So we're just waiting on one more person, correct? Mm-hmm. I just sent her a text. She said that she's gonna be here in about two minutes. What's her name again? Isn't it like Sarah or something? Close. It's Kara. Oh, okay. Kara. Got that. She's pretty nice. I've known her for nearly seven years now. Seven years? Wow, that is quite a long time. You guys must be really close. Mm-hmm. She's one of my best friends. <gasps> she's here! Are you excited to meet Kara? Yeah, I'm excited, but I'm also kind of nervous because, like, what if she thinks I'm weird? I'm usually awkward around new people. Oh, I get that. I think it'll be fine, though, because Ellie did say that Kara was really nice. We could become friends with her. Yeah, that's true. All right, guys, this is Kara. These are my friends Olive and Hazel. Hello. Hey. So, now that everyone's here, what do you want to do first? We should have a pillow fight. Those are always really fun. Really? Yeah. Isn't that kind of a kid's thing? I mean, no offense, of course, but I feel like we're a little too old for that. What? Since when? I thought it didn't matter how old you were. Well, hear me out. I have a better idea. Um, okay. We should do TikTok challenges. Ooh, that sounds fun. <gasps> oh my gosh, yes. <sighs> really? That sounds boring as hell. Oh, um, yeah, TikTok challenges. That sounds pretty fun. A lot better than pillow fighting, all I can say. I know, right? Let's do it. So I think the first challenge that we should do is the one where all of us dance. That was so fun. I know, we should do it again sometime. Yeah, I'm glad I was able to do it because my parents don't usually let me have social media. Then your parents must hate you. Um, no, they don't. Yeah, whatever. Um, anyways, what should we do next? Oh, I know. How about we walk to the store and then we buy a bunch of snacks and then when we come back home, we can start a movie. I'm down with that. Of course. Oh my gosh, yes. So, what kind of candy do you guys like? If I'm being fully honest, I like any kind of candy. It just depends on my mood. Chocolate all the way. Um, I'd say my favorites are probably M&M's and candy corn. Candy corn? You like that crap? I do. Girl, did you know that that's one of the most disgusting candies in existence? You must be crazy to like it. Well, um, I guess I'm crazy then. <laughs> yeah, and you're weird. What? I hope the store has enough candy for sale because I know around this time there's not really as much since people are shopping for Halloween. Oh yeah, good point. I think there'll be some candy left. And if there's none, we can just get like chips or whatever. Uh, did anybody hear that or see anything? What are you talking about? I swear, I thought I heard something behind us. It's probably just like a squirrel or something. Yeah, but like, it sounded a little too big to be a squirrel. I also got like, a bit of a weird presence that we were being watched. It was like this creepy feeling. I don't know how to describe it though. I really hope it's just my brain messing with me. I kind of got that too. Oh wow, the shelf is like, a lot emptier than I expected. Well, it's still got some candy that I Um, like. hey guys? Hmm. I'm not really allowed to have that much sugar. Oh, are you on a diet? I mean, I can kind of see why. No offense. What the hell? I am not- I'm kidding. Chill. Sorry. Psst. Olive. Hmm? We need to talk. Alright. Kara is being such a female dog. For real though, I thought I was the only one who thought that. Dude, she literally does not respect my opinions, and she straight up called you fat as a joke. And the fact that Ellie isn't even giving a damn about it just makes it worse. Like, she's letting Kara treat us like this. It's not fair. And she said that Kara was going to be nice. She is everything but nice. She's just sassy and rude. What did we ever do to her? Um, excuse me, it's time to go. <sighs> yeah, we're ready to go. You guys can have your little chats when you get back. What movie do you guys want to watch? We should watch something scary because Halloween is coming up. And also, just scary movies in general are such a vibe. Um, sure, I'm fine with that, as long as it's not too scary, because sometimes those kind of movies give me nightmares. Please don't kill the vibe, we want to be able to watch a scary movie. <sighs> fine, we'll do it. Yes! I am so done with her. If she treats you like this again, I'm gonna defend you. Let's get this movie started, shall we? Ah! What the hell's up with the TV? I'm gonna see if everything's plugged in.
Everything seems to be fine, it's just randomly glitching, I guess. My parents know how to fix this, but they're not home right now, so I guess that means we can't really watch TV. Okay, um, since we can't watch movies, what do you want to do instead? Um, how about Truth or Dare? Sure, how does that sound to you guys? Okay. That sounds fine. Alrighty, then I guess that means we're doing it. And then I was like, oh my god, you can't be serious. Did the power just go out? Looks like it. Does anyone have a light? I cannot see a thing. Mm-hmm, I have a nightlight, hold on. That's better. Are you kidding me? Why did this have to happen at the worst possible time? Well, at least we have, like, a light so we can see. Yeah, but, like, now I can't charge my phone. <sighs> um, guys, you might want to come over here. I found something a little suspicious. What? I'm on the power outage website, and it says that our house is the only one in the neighborhood without power, while every other house seems to be just fine. And usually it says how the power went out, but it says it's unknown. I'm gonna try and investigate. I'll be right back. Okay, um, let's see here. Huh? Did anyone hear that? I think something happened to Olive. We should see if she's okay. That did not sound good. We need to get out of here, right now! I almost just got killed! What happened to you? Did something attack you? Okay, so I was looking for the source of the, um, power outage, and, um, when I was on my way back, this creature just attacked me from behind and tried killing me. I couldn't see what it looked like due to it being super dark in the house. I managed to escape, just barely, and then when I was running back, it's just- it disappeared, but I am positive it is still in the house. Wait, so there's this creature in my house?! Um, guys, there is something I haven't told you. Never thought I would have to, but since it happened, I think it's about time. What? Every five to ten years, these strange, possessed creatures will come to this very town and attack many people. They will quietly follow them around, sneak up on them, and brutally kill them. They tend to go after those who are younger and more vulnerable, like us. These creatures are called the Lurkers. They will stay hidden in the back of the woods when they aren't looking for victims, but it looks like they're back. They usually come around this time of year. Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? Yeah, why didn't you tell us? Do you want us to die? Look, I didn't know, okay? I didn't think this was gonna happen tonight. And I didn't want to scare you and ruin the sleepover. But since you guys know now, we should get out of here. Okay, I've come up with a good plan. Let's hear it. My plan is that we leave the house as quickly as possible, because like you said, Olive, the creature is probably still there. And when we leave, we should bring some sort of weapon, like something you could hit it or stab it with. And once we're out of the house, we go to the nearest police station and report the creature, and hopefully they will get it gone. Th that's a good plan. We just would have to be extremely careful. Is everyone else ready to get out of here? Ready. I am. Let's go. Come on, quick, don't look back. We made it. We- we actually made it! We're alive! <laughs> yeah. Um, guys? Where is Kara? Kara? She got left behind. Oh my god. And the lurkers have probably gotten her too. We need to go look for her. But Ellie, I don't want to go all the way back into the house. It's too dangerous. And I hate to say this, but what if she's already dead by now? Olive, don't say that. She could still be alive. We're gonna look for her no matter what. Come on. Kara? Kara? Are you there? Guys, remember, the creature could still be in here, so be prepared. Kara? Are you there? Guys, you might want to come over here. <gasps> oh my god. Is she okay? By the looks of it, it seems like she got attacked. I hate that creature so much. Oh my god. C Kara? Please tell me you're alive. Wake up. Please. Kara? Um, hello? 
Thank goodness you're alive. I was so worried. What happened to you? Is the lurker still here? I don't think so. Alright, this is basically what happened. So when all of us were trying to get out of the house, I tripped on something, but none of you guys seemed to notice since you were so focused on trying to escape. Once I got up and tried catching up, it was already too late because the creature had gotten to me and it started attacking me. So obviously, I had to save myself. I grabbed a knife from the kitchen and used it as a weapon to defend myself from the creature. And then the creature and I were like in this battle, which was probably one of the scariest things I have ever experienced. I attempted to stab it a couple of times until it got to the point where it gave up and ran off. After that, I immediately went unconscious because of the pain. And then I woke up, and now this is happening. We are so sorry that we left you behind. No, it's okay. What matters is that it's all over, and we don't have to worry about it any longer. Oh, and also, Hazel, Olive, I just want to say that I am really sorry for being so rude to you at the beginning of the sleepover. Sometimes when I meet someone new, I kind of act that way and I don't realize it, but hey, I'm sorry. It's fine, I totally get that. Yeah, me too. It's fine. 